Hello everyone, my name is Pooks, and welcome back to another informational video. Today, I'll be talking green screens. This video will cover green screen recording for PC, PSVR players, and green screens for photos taken with the share camera. This will also work for all screen mode players as well. Let's get to it! To start, I'm going to go over the green screen built into the streaming camera. This is the best green screen to use because it is not dependent on the in-game lighting system and will key out the best while editing. Now from the advanced settings menu, you're going to want to navigate to the streaming camera and its settings to find the green screen options. There are a different bunch of distance settings as you can see to play around with the green screen. Once you have the green screen turned on, position your camera in the location you want the object to key out for your green screen. It's best to only have your subject in front of the green screen. Avoid having unwanted objects in the shot or parts of the rec room terrain. I will be going over editing later on and how to make the green screen disappear. Next, I'm going to go over another way to make a green screen. This can be done on PC, PSVR, and screen mode. This also works for the share camera photos in custom rooms. The best way to do a green screen without using the built-in green screen with the share camera is to use a button. To do this, you're going to navigate to the dynamic prop section within the prop section of your maker pen and spawn yourself in a button. From there, you're going to want to configure the button. On the configure menu, you're going to press the button that says message, there's a large purple button that says modify. Once pressed, it will bring up a keyboard, which is below me, to ask what you want the button to say. Make sure to leave the text area blank and press OK. This will remove the words from your button. From there, open up the section on your maker pen, navigate to scale, and enlarge the button quite a lot. Once you've scaled your button up to much larger than the size of a normal button, you can see that it's acting much like a green screen behind me. In practical applications, make sure the green screen covers the entire window of the area you're recording or the picture that you're taking. There is, however, one important thing to remember when using buttons as green screens. The way that editing works with green screens is that it looks for a single color to get rid of. This means that when you use a button, make sure to use point lights to illuminate the button so it's all roughly the same shade of green. This will make editing a lot easier in the future when you key out the green screen behind you. Now, let's move on to editing. Now that we have our footage filmed with our green screen, we can start editing. I will be using DaVinci Resolve 16, so in your own editor, some settings might be different or in different locations. For this demonstration, I will be putting Soulfox Gaming's logo that I made a while back over some rec room footage. This method will work for all green screen footage, assuming you follow the instructions I gave. First, what you're going to want to do is take the green screen footage that you have recorded, as you can see here, which is Soulfox Gaming's logo, and put it on top of the footage you want it to be over. So if you have a green screen clip and you want something to be underneath of it to appear where the green screen is, put the green screened clip above the clip you want it to show underneath. That will make sense in a moment. Now what I'm going to do in my editor is navigate to the Fusion tab. This might be called Effects or Video Effects or something along those lines in other editors. Now what I'm going to do is grab the Delta Keyer. In some editing softwares it might be called a Chroma Keyer or a green screen tool or something similar to that. You're just going to have to play around and find something that has delta key or chroma key or green screen. Now once I add my delta keyer to my clip, I need to use this eyedropper tool to key out the green screen. On some programs, this might be done automatically or you might have to select the color you want to key out. This program is good because if I have any color, not just green, I can key it out using this program. Once you have applied the effect to your green screen clip, you should be good to go, and the effect should look something like this. Now, in the event that there are some green lines around the green screened object that you're keying out, 
you're going to need to find the settings to adjust your green screen tool. These can be located in many different places in different editors, but in my editor it's located within the Fusion section under the Delta Keyer tab. If there are green screen lines around the object, like there's a green outline around the thing that you're keying out, you're going to want to adjust the threshold volume along with the fringe, blur, and different clean background and foreground effects that your editor might have. This will just clean up the edges so all of that green that you're seeing can disappear so it looks like a nice crisp cleaned effect. Once you have all of that done, your green screen effect is ready and you can use it in your videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you can now go with the knowledge on how to create special effects using green screens within Rec Room. Make sure to check out the rest of my content, hopefully there will also be a playlist to the rest of the other tutorials that I've made, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!